I'm about to unbox an unopened Bionicle canister, but will it be worth it? Hello everybody, it's your residential brickologist Lego Lee here with another throwback Lego Bionicle set review. Today we're going back to the year 2004 to look at set number 8614, Vaki New Ruck. This set used to retail for $9 here in the United States, adjusted for inflation here in 2023. That's closer to $15. It contains 33 pieces and here is a front look at that iconic Bionicle canister showcasing the disc launching capabilities of this set along with the introduction of Matronui to Bionicle. The back of the canister advertises the Bionicle movie from 2004 along with the capabilities and play features this set has. This set is completely sealed so cutting the tape here is kind of painful to do but it also brings back so much childhood nostalgia of opening these sets when I was a kid. I can't wait to to see what's inside. There goes any resale value this set had, but come on. This feeling, oh my gosh, fresh Bionicle pieces. <gasps> Ugh, it's so good. Of course you get one instruction manual that has 19 pages of building, but look at all the contents of this thing. Lego just does not do this anymore. It gives you an entire map of Matronui at the back here. It explains how to put the set into the canister. It also gives you instructions on how to build a combination model with other sets from this line. And the ads at the back here are extensive. Here are the rest of the Vaki. You also get ads, of course, for the combination models. You get ads for the Titan sets that year. And you get ads for the iconic Toa Metru. And ads for the Matoran and some more wind stuff. Look at that classic Lego artwork there. Man, this is incredible. Oh, and the back has an ad for the movie as well. One of the most satisfying manuals I've seen from Lego in a long time. Also included is this little business card explaining how you can use some points from the Kanoka card. It says they expire on June 30th, 2005. You guys think they'll still work? I'm not so sure. All right, let's get building. New Rock is complete, and when I say this took me about two minutes to build, I'm not lying. These felt so substantial when I was a kid, but as an adult, this build flew by in literally a matter of seconds. But that doesn't necessarily mean the build was bad. I actually think the Vaki and New Rock here in particular have a lot of fun to offer. But before we talk about the actual design, I want to give you guys some quick background on the Vaki and New Rock himself. The Vaki were basically a robotic enforcement squad, kind of like the police, who are designed to protect and maintain order in Matronui. However, of course, it's obviously a very corrupt system. New Rock in particular here was designed to maintain order in Tom Metru, obviously the fire district of Metru Nui. To do so, he was given the staff of command, the one mold unique to this figure at the time. This thing could basically override an entire Matoran and make them do your bidding for a matter of hours until they snap out of it. Kind of crazy. This is a really powerful weapon that basically has mind control abilities. And I gotta say, it's a pretty cool looking weapon. The molding here is absolutely fantastic. And of course, this is a classic Bionicle set. So there has to be some sort of geared mechanism. This works out really well. I like it quite a bit. And it just brings me so much nostalgic joy. Getting a little closer up with New Rock here, his legs are extremely simple. I wish maybe they added an armor piece right here. I think that would have gone a long way to adding some detail. Otherwise, they look fine. They use the classic Toa feet in gray. These parts right here were both new for 2004, giving it an elusive knee joint, which is fantastic. But beyond that, pretty boring. The arms are somehow even more bare bones, using another classic Toa piece from the early days of Bionicle, giving them only one single joint. Luckily, of course, the gear mechanism gives them more articulation, but these arms are very underwhelming. 
The torsos give the Vaki kind of a hunched over look that I think is very unique and rather strange. Again though, they're really skinny. I wish just in general they were bulked up a little bit more. However, there is one component of the Vaki that does not lack any bulk and that is probably the most important part of any Bionicle figure, the head. I love the head of the Vaki. It looks super unique and functions really, really well. Especially this figure because you have that amazing color combination of red and green. It's Christmas colors, y'all, and they work perfectly together. The head does have a ball joint for articulation, which was kind of a new concept for Bionicle at the time. And of course, also has the Kanoka Disc Launcher, which works really well and just just boosts the playability of this figure over the top. Somehow the playability doesn't stop there because the Vaki have two modes essentially. You can flip all their limbs around and basically make them into these more monstrous insect-like looking creatures that I think look more threatening. However, it does kind of ruin the gear mechanism, so I prefer their normal stance, but it's really cool to have the option, especially for display. So what are my final thoughts here on Vaki Nuruk? I think this is a relatively fun figure. Emphasis on the word fun because this figure excels with play value. The Vaki have tons of awesome features that are just so much fun to play with and I certainly had a good time with them when I was a kid. That being said, they just seem so scrawny to me. And for them being the main bad guys of the entire first year of Bionicle and Metro Nui, they don't feel all that threatening in my opinion. I like the ability to give them multiple different modes, but the beast mode compromises a lot of the articulation and the play value that the normal standing up mode has. So there are definitely some big flaws with the Vaki, but overall I think they're interesting figures. In regard to value, this set was a great deal for $9 back in the day. This figure is very large for that price. Adjusted for inflation at 15, I still think it's worth it. Now, if you wanna get this set and you don't mind used Bionicle parts, which is risky because used parts tend to crack sometimes, especially the dark red ones, you can literally get it for about list price. It's going for approximately $10 to $15 on aftermarkets. And if you want to get it sealed, it's not crazy expensive, especially compared to some other Bionicle sets. You can get it for around $35 to maybe $50, which isn't wild. So I think you make the call on the condition of your pieces and then buy this set if you like what you see because it honestly hasn't gone up crazy amounts in value. For me, New Rock gets a solid 6.5 out of 10. There is a lot to like about this figure, and I think the good definitely outweighs the bad. However, there are some big flaws that I have mentioned. Those are just my thoughts though. Love to hear yours in the comment section down below. Also, while you're at it, please subscribe to this channel, like this video, hit that bell to get video notifications, leave me a comment as well, find me online. Thank you so much for watching my LEGO Bionicle review. Have a great rest of your day. Peace out, God bless, Bye bye